Hi, my name is John Caribou, and uh, welcome to Moots. We're here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I'm going to invite you into our uh, facility here. Um, come on. So this is our mitering room. This is the headwaters of all of our production. This is where we receive our raw tubing in and go to work building our titanium frames. So here we are in front of our uh, main wall of uh, tubing. This will be the uh, lifeblood of our stream of titanium frames. Uh, we use all U.S. made materials, highest quality possible, and follow it through the system with the highest uh, processes possible. So once we're out of the miter room, uh, tube sets are off to welding. Uh, first process over there is cleaning. And with the cleaning, we have to make extra, extra special care that our tubes are oil free. Uh, all the way down to the fingerprint, so we use our ultrasonic cleaner. This is our uh, ultrasonic cleaner. We're cleaning away uh, a tube set that's going to be loaded into the jig. Once the tube set comes out of the ultrasonic cleaner, it goes into the dry basket. From this point forward, all of our welders are handling the tube sets with uh, cotton weld gloves. That assures us uh, to keep any uh, oily fingerprints off the weld surface uh, so we can have a contamination free weld. <laughs> Alright, so here we've got a, a tacked frame, and at this point, it gets a yellow tag uh, assigned to it. This gives us its serial number, and then it will uh, allow us to check off on every step through the whole process. Each person responsible for welding, finishing, uh, and all the way down to boxing will check off on this. And that yellow tag goes out to our customers so they can see uh, who just who, uh, who touched their frames. So here we've got a uh, Moots uh, Fusion Tack Weld. This has come out of the mainframe jig and this uh, is tacked into place so it holds its uh, angles and then it'll go off to the mainframe welders. Uh, we do this to, to hold the shape and then uh, we also hand this off to the mainframe welders. They'll complete that fusion weld all the way around the weld and then they'll go back in with the weld rod and start the second pass of the double pass weld. So here we are in the uh, mainframe uh, welding area at Moots. Uh, we've got Ned here and what he's done is he's take that tacked frame off the hook and then he's repurged the frame and he's going through completing the fusion pass and then doing the second pass of the double pass weld with the weld wire. And again that assures us uh, a very strong uh, weld joint, very consistent bead, and in the end a very beautiful bead. When you're welding with titanium, um, it's absolutely important to be welding in an oxygen-free environment, and we accomplish that with the use of argon gas to purge the inside of the frame, and then on the weld torch out of the cup, we have a flow of argon gas on the surface. Along with our frames, uh, we're producing our uh, titanium stems and seat posts. Uh, we do a number of different lengths, offsets, rises, uh, everything's gone to a 31.8 uh, stem diameter these days and our cinch post does come in those two, a straight seat post and a laid back seat post. So further back into uh, finishing, we've got our alignment table. So once this frame has been chased and faced and squared up and all the contact points, It'll go on to the alignment table, and this will reassure us that our, we have a frame that's going to go down the road straight. It's not going to give you any high speed wobble, and it's going to be a solid uh, ride underneath you for the life of the bike. So there's typically uh, three to four full-time folks here, and they're putting the finishing touches on our frames, uh, our tiny little screw-on head badge, our final bead glass finish, decals put on by hand, and any of the finishing bolts that go along with the frame. Here we are in the uh, Moot CNC department where we turn out 80% uh, of our small weld-on parts and that's anything from cable stops to back face, uh, back stem face plates. So we've got a block of titanium and by the time we finish with it, we've got this beautiful machined out back plate that goes into our stem. All happens right here on the uh, Supermax. We've got uh, several of these machines in-house. It really has allowed us to control our quality and our lead times. You know, other items that we're making in-house are our uh, bottom bracket shells, whether it's our threaded uh, standard English uh, shell or our press fit BB30, all the way down to our little stem 
weld on binders that get turned out of larger chunks of titanium to the finished product that goes on the back of the stem. So that's kind of the down and dirty of the Moots tour um, here in Steamboat Springs. If you come and uh, do take the tour, we'll show you what uh, Hand Built in the Rockies is all about. Our giant pile of uh, frames going out the door today. And uh, hopefully you can stop by and uh, say hi.